Let's find the molar mass for C7H16. This could be heptane or it could be another isomer. To find the molar mass, we'll first look at carbon on the periodic table. That's right here, 12.01. The units are grams per mole, but let's write those at the end. We have seven of these carbon atoms, so we're gonna multiply this by seven, and then we'll add the hydrogen. Hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole, and we have 16 of those, so we'll multiply this by 16. When we do the math, we multiply 12.01 times seven, we multiply 1.01 times 16. We add those numbers together. We end up with 100.23, and the units are grams per mole. My periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places. If your periodic table rounds to a different number, you might have a slightly different answer out here. What this means is if we have 100.23 grams of C7H16, we'll have one mole of C7H16. Or if we're given one mole, we know that it has a mass of 100.23 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for C7H16. Thanks for watching.